What up guys, welcome back to Emerge NYC. Today we're gonna be playing as Squad 252. And looks like we have a report of a commercial fire. Let's gotta respond to that. All right, guys, looks like we have a whole row of taxpayers going up or stores going up here. We're going to have to get all these roll downs opened up. Tower ladder 111 is already on scene. Other units are still responding in. All right, so since squad got on scene first, we're going to hand do the uh, first do engine company's duties and get the water going. Alright, now, actually, before we start stretching lines, I think we're just going to have to start opening all this stuff up. So I'm going to get a couple lines laid down and then work on getting everything opened up. Alright guys, so I didn't realize the other engines were stuck over here, so I made them move. So we have 214 on scene, we also have 222 over here as well, triple deuce. Let's go ahead and get these connected as well. Alright, so I was just running around getting all of the engines connected. I also ran a relay line to the tower ladder so we could get that ready. And I also have a multiversal over there as well. So let's go ahead and start opening up everything now. There we go. Heavy fire in these stores here.
This is insane how much fire this is. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun job here to put all of this out. This is just insane. Oops. Alright, I think we're just about done taking a little bit of damage here. I'm going to have to try to heal myself. Alright, so we finally got the multiversal up. I'm just going to aim that right there for now. It should keep spraying. I'm going to also go get into the tower ladder. So cool that we got the multiverse going. I think I may put some more up actually. I could probably run another one over here. Let me see. I got 214 running a line here. 252 isn't pumping anything, so I could probably set up another one. This is a crazy fire, though. I don't know, guys. It doesn't. Oh, wait. I think it's going in now. So I'm gonna see if I can hit the fire through the doors. Or you know what? I didn't even realize there's glass here. I'm so. S that was a problem. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even think about the glass being here. Alright. So let's break up all this glass. It was so clear I didn't even notice it. <laughs> I should have known though, like, I feel so dumb now. My bad, all right, so we should be good now. So that wasn't a bug, that was just me not paying attention. Right, we're making some really good progress now. I'm taking a lot of damage. I need to heal myself is what I need to do. So how many alarms do you guys think this fire would be? Um, I would say it's definitely going to be a multiple alarm. I'm saying two alarm for sure. Possibly the three. But two alarms for sure. We do have some exposures on the sides though. So it probably would take a three alarm just to protect those exposures as well. 
Alright, that seems to be okay for now. Let's head over here. I think at this point it's just really knocking out all these other little areas. Probably get a hand line going. So I think I'm going to get a hand line off a squad. Let's see if we can hit all the rest of these small areas here. This was one heck of a fire, though. Something right here that's blocking us. Alright, so we're not going to go fully interior here, but I'm going to try to hit some more of these spots here, just from the walkways and the windowways. We're going to have to get into these ceilings, though, so once we get this thing a little bit more under control, we'll come in and try to pull the ceilings. This fire is awesome though. I'm surprised none of these <laughs> alarms are going off. I just realized that. I'm kind of happy though, because it would be a pain to silence all of these.
All right, we got a lot of the fire uh, knocked down. This is a, I didn't even I did notice this door, but I didn't even think to try to open it. We're out there open that. Alright, so we actually made entry. I don't even know where we're at right now, but there's a lot of fire back here, so let's put this all out. Alright, so I think we have all the fire, well no, we don't have all the fire obviously, but we have most of the fire out. The rest of the fire is going to be in the roof. So I'm thinking we're going to have to try to pull ceilings all over the place, as well as probably cut some holes. So. I have to stand on top of the counter to be able to reach the ceilings here. Gotta get it done. So yeah, we, we still got a lot of fire burn as you guys can see. I'm not going to be able to open up all of this. So I'm guessing we're going to have to do the rest from the roof. Alright, got a good amount on this side knocked. Well, not knocked. I mean opened up. Getting it done at all costs here. All right, we got everything pulled, so we're going in one more time with the hand line so we could knock out the rest of this fire. I'm hoping we could get it all from down here. We've been on scene for about an hour now, so this is a very extended operation. I'm really just amazed at how big this fire is. This would be like the perfect multiplayer fire so that way like multiple people can have multiple lines on this thing. I think we did a good job though, like setting up the tower ladder, the multiverse, so the deck guns. Um, I wish I could have did more, but I, it was like to a point where by the time 
because you know since he's setting up so much stuff you gotta like aim it all so like once you aim it, it's gonna start putting out all the fire in that area so i figured w at that point it didn't really make any more sense to add any more because i wouldn't be able to aim like that many uh pieces of equipment you know so i figured at that point it'll just be kind of useless but we're getting most of the fire down um i could tell we are gonna have to go to the roof though to really get out the rest of this but i think we did a good job let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section for one person with like multiple stores all already fully engulfed before we got on scene i think we did a pretty good job All right, guys, making our way to the roof. I'm gonna try to get a couple good cuts in and see if we can get out the rest of this fire. Damn, this is a lot of fire here. So guys, I think I'm just gonna literally cut the whole roof open and then try to put out the rest of this fire. Um, I'm gonna put up a couple more portable ladders as well for safety here, because right now I just have the bucket, which is kind of blocked by this fire, and then I have the aerial over on this side, but yeah, it's extended operation here, squad two, five, two.
All right, we're making some progress here, guys. This is like ridiculously close to me. Cut enough because there's no fire burning on this side, and we expose all the fire over here. So let's go ahead and get the heck up out of here, guys. We have to reposition that tower ladder so we could uh, knock out all these with the tower ladder. Damn, that is ridiculous! How much we cut there? Wow. All right, I'm at the reposition the tower ladder probably over here. All right, I really hope this is gonna be the end of this fire because we've been here forever, guys. So I, I reposition the tower ladder over to this side now, and I think I'm gonna be able to hit pretty much all of this fire. There's still that little bit over there I was unable to hit, but um, I'm gonna try it and see if we can hit it now from this angle. Also deleted a couple of trucks too since it was starting to get laggy. We got hoses and stuff pumping all over the place and tools everywhere. So it's been a while. I even actually, I know you can't pause the game, but I actually left the game running for like about an hour and a half while I left to do some stuff in real life. Came back. So yeah, everything's just been going on for a really long time.
So I got the whole roof out. Except for that one spot. I may have to move the ladder one more time. Guys, guys, we did it. All of the fire is out. No more fire. Wow. This took forever, but it is completely out. Oh my goodness. We did it, guys. Wow, that was a hard one. All right. Um, I guess the only thing that's left, let's try out the vent fans and see how that does with uh, venting out the, all of the residual smoke here. There's <laughs> somebody in there. Alright, so that should help get some of this smoke out. I'm going to need a couple more of these, but I already sent back uh, one, two, three, and I wasn't able to get the one off of this one, but as you guys can see, it is clearing up the smoke. Looks like it's clearing it on both sides, actually. Nice. Look at that. Wow. Look how it's clearing up, guys. That is so cool. Let me see if this one will come up. I'll try this again. Yeah, this one I'm not able to take off. That to be up there, maybe? I don't know. But this one is definitely working. It, it cleared up a lot. So I'll probably just move it around. But guys, I'm sorry it's like lagging so much here at the end. But I'm just happy we got it done. Squad 252. We put in some serious work today. First do well. We were first do. I think we got in before everybody else. I know on the other side, the other engines, I didn't see them parked over there. But, um, yeah, we were basically first do. We handled everything. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know if you guys want to see some more Emerge NYC. And also, I will be doing some multiplayer very soon. This was definitely a fire. That multiplayer would have been way helpful. But we got it done. I feel accomplished. So box, uh, what is the box? 0909, fire in a commercial. We took care of it, guys. That is awesome. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.